the 10 most dangerous slides. Number 10, Hawaii's Nalo Reservoir. Quite often, the best places to visit in the world are off the beaten track where very few other people venture. But there's a place in Hawaii that's been a popular destination for thrill seekers, despite it being completely illegal to do so and potentially very dangerous. Within a 126 acre site of agricultural land in Waimanalo is the Nalo Reservoir that provides water to the surrounding area. It's protected by barbed wire fences and numerous warnings, but the steep plastic liner covered slopes are too much for some to resist. While videos show people having great fun sliding down the sides, there is a legitimate risk here. Cuts and bruises are commonplace, and there have been some reports of people being paralyzed after hitting the water at an awkward angle. Number nine, glass slide. With the increasing popularity of glass bridges and walkways around the world, it seemed inevitable that someone would build a glass slide. And that's exactly what they did in LA, on the side of a skyscraper. The 45 foot long slide is almost 1,000 feet high in the air and runs between the 70th and 69th floors of the US Bank Tower. Almost as soon as it opened though, there were reports of injuries and a lawsuit was filed by a 57 year old who broke her ankle as she reached the bottom. According to her lawyers, the crack of her ankle can be clearly heard on a video of the event and claim that the design of the slide meant that there was nothing to help the mats slow down before they reached the end. It's not the injury you might expect while being in a glass structure on the side of the tallest building on the West Coast, but can be completely avoided by not going on this dangerous slide in the first place. Number eight, inflatable slides. Fixed position slides can be dangerous enough, but temporary ones at a whole different level of risk. Inflatable slides are often used during special events, but if they haven't been secured properly, things can soon descend into disaster. In 2018, a 30-foot slide had been installed during a fireworks display in Woking, England, and according to eyewitness reports, too many children were being allowed on at the same time. Shortly after the fireworks were due to begin, the site had to be evacuated because the side of the slide had collapsed and a large number of kids had fallen to the ground. Eight children were rushed to hospital, all with potentially life-altering injuries. And this incident, along with a few others, led to law changes in Britain to try to avoid anything similar happening in the future. Number seven, the Cannonball Loop. Possibly the most famous dangerous water slide to ever be built was the Cannonball Loop at New Jersey's Action Park. It did what very few other water slides do, with a full 360 degree loop. And unsurprisingly, it was this that made the slide so fraught with danger. The park was renowned for its poor safety record already, but their new slide was only open for a month after its completion in 1985 before being reportedly shut down by New Jersey's safety board. Test dummies were said to have emerged from the bottom with missing limbs, and only a few people dared to brave it, including park employees who were paid to do so. A hatch was installed in the loop to allow attendants to check for obstructions and to remove any people who failed to reach enough speed to make it all around. And those that did make it would often be covered in bruises and scratches from the uncomfortable experience. The Cannonball Loop is a prime example of how important it is to design water slides with safety in mind and why they are far more dangerous than roller coasters. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top 5s with notifications on. Number 6. A Dry Water Slide Water slides are, of course, designed for riders to go down with the assistance of water. But when parks shut down, what remains are dry slides and treacherous drops at the end. This doesn't stop people from attempting them, though, as this video from early 2019 shows. After breaking into an abandoned site, one brave rider picks up huge speed as he careens down the ride, flies into the air on one of the humps, and then lands painfully on the ground and skids along before finally coming to a stop. He's lucky to still be walking after this, and plans are now in place for it to be dismantled in case someone else tries it for themselves. 
Number five, Vancouver skyscraper. Urban explorers manage to reach places others wouldn't dream of going, and in some cases, the ideal slope can be too hard to resist using as a slide, even if it's at the top of a skyscraper. In 2019, a video was posted online of someone who had climbed to the top of a 42-story tower called the Melville in Vancouver. He'd managed to follow a group of residents into an elevator and then, once on the top floor, climbed up a service stairwell onto the roof. Once there, and having looked around with the backdrop of English Bay and the skyline of the city, he slides down the slanted canopy. Thankfully, he stops himself before reaching the end. Otherwise, things would have taken a more tragic turn. Police began an investigation into the incident and warned everyone against rooftopping because of the obvious dangers involved. Number four, Spanish street slide. The town of Estepona in Spain's Costa del Sol is built across uneven terrain where streets are at wildly different elevations to each other. So the authorities came up with a novel idea for a tourist attraction, a slide to connect two of them. The idea was to give a quick way to make the trip instead of a route of winding staircases. And the result was billed as Spain's longest slide with a length of 125 feet. It was made from stainless steel and featured inclines of between 32 and 34 degrees. But there was a problem. People reached huge speeds while sliding down, and quite a few suffered injuries. Despite a thousand people using it without incident, the fear was a careless tourist managing to cause some serious harm to themselves. So within a day of opening, the slide was closed so the planners could rethink the design. Number three. Russian ice slides. Before the first roller coasters were built, people had to find other ways to seek their thrills. In Russia, from around the 15th or 16th century, they built huge ice slides that allowed riders to travel at ferocious speeds along a barely safe route. They were built as tall and long as possible, and some were as much as 80 feet high. They'd span the size of several blocks and were surrounded by trees to add to the atmosphere and torches to allow night rides. St. Petersburg would see a number of these slides each year, where they were built near the river to provide a constant source of water to help keep a thick covering of ice. Catherine the Great was said to be a fan of the ice slides, but with the lack of safety regulations, it's believed that they were the cause of a number of injuries and fatalities over the years. Number two, Chinese toy company advert. China is not exactly known for its strict safety regulations, but this children's play area undoubtedly earned its title of being the most dangerous kids slide anywhere in the world. At first, nothing seems out of the ordinary apart from the creepy green plastic face on one side. But it's when you see where this was placed that you realize the true problem with the slide. Yes, it's on the roof of a three-story building and it leads straight off the edge. Local families from Heje in the Shandong province were horrified when they saw it as they believed the colorful structure would inevitably encourage children or teenagers to try and scale the building to play on the structure. The company that put it there, though, argued that it was totally safe. They said that this clearly was not intended for use by anyone and that the roof was inaccessible. The reason they chose to put the slide there in the first place was because the site is home to a toy factory, and this structure for playgrounds was one of their most popular products. It was an advert to attract further business, and they couldn't see what all the fuss was about. Number one, Verrucht. In 2014, Verrucht, which is the German word for insane, opened at the Schlitterbahn Park in Kansas City. It was hailed as being the world's tallest water slide at 168 feet and was a massive draw for tourists from around the world. There was a problem though, it subsequently turned out that the designers of the ride had no engineering background. And as would become tragically clear, the ride was completely unsafe. Riders would sit in a raft that sped down the ramp, up over a hump, then down towards the end. There was, however, nothing in place to ensure the raft stayed on the slide, and they would often be seen airborne at the top of the hump. One fateful day in 2016, one of the rafts lifted so high up that it struck a metal bar that was holding a safety net and instantly decapitated one of the riders, a 10-year-old boy. Needless to say, the ride was shut down and the owners of the park were investigated. 
But despite exposing their cavalier attitude towards ride design, even finding that during a test ride, one person involved said that he wasn't sure whether he was going to survive it, they weren't prosecuted because of a lack of evidence. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.